All right. Hey, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rekaha, Kodash. Double honors to the apostles, <clears throat> please excuse me, and the elders, a great millstone of whom I learn from daily. And a healthy Shalom to the brothers that are out there doing the work in truth and sincerity. Now, wh what did I just say? You heard what I said, right? The brothers that are out there doing the work, that are out there doing the work in truth and sincerity. Now, I had... Uh, this dude, Ryan, was it Ryan Jones, 6959, right? Ryan Jones, 6959. Comes up on my comment board on uh, the lesson that I did. I actually did this lesson yesterday, and I'm just, you know, posting it up on my main channel today. You know how we do. Anyway, and it was going into the Iron Dome and how it failed and, and you know, the basically the media, which is owned by who, them 1948ers, right? Uh, Idumians, if you will, you will understand what that means in a minute. You know, you brothers that are learned, you already know who the Idumians are, Chaldeans, you know, all right, Babylonians, spiritual Sodom and Egypt, all that. Okay. But it was going into, you know, the Iron Dome and, and how the media is lying and all that. Right. So I get this comment. This was two hours, you know, roughly two hours ago. Right. And it says this, the house of Yamba, Iyamba were very dark-skinned Idumians, which tried to pass as Jake. Okay, now we all should know by now that when we say Jake, we mean Jacob. Jacob is the progenitor of the 12 tribes of Israel. This is going to be a, 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 a BTTB, back to the basics, all right? Visiting the comment board, and whatever it's going to be entitled. <clears throat> Please excuse me. Salaki, let me grab some water. So, I'm not, I wasn't, you know, I'm not sure of who uh, e, Iyamba is, right? So, you know, of course, I looked Iyamba up and it really wasn't giving me much of anything. So the house of Iyamba. Now, in the Bible, when it talks about the house of something, the house of this, the house of that, the house of Israel, the house of, of Edom, you know, the house of, uh, of Jacob. The house of uh, of Moab or Ammon or the Hagarines or whatever, you know, a ham or ham, hot means hot, ham, hamedic, right? And they bugged the hell out. I'm actually watching the Elder Yasha Wamba's video right now, talking about Shaka almost. <laughs> oh man, and this and these dumbass uh, debates, all right, that they're really doing for money. Yes, I'm not going into that. So, this is what I this is what I put up. Please elaborate because I don't know what. The house of, of Iyamba was, right? And, and again, I tried to look it up, and it's a lot of vague, weird, strange information that really, uh, uh, honestly, has nothing to do with the scriptures. Nothing to do with the scriptures. So let's go here. Let's look this up. Okay? Now, you brothers that are what, out there doing the work, let's look this word, uh, this word, elaborate. Elaborate. What does this say? It says, develop or present a theory Policy or system in detail. Okay. Now that's what we do as Hebrew Israelites, especially the men of Great Millstone, the affiliate camps, and the brothers that's teaching the what? The likewise doctrine. According to the scriptures. Nothing more. Not according to what you've looked up, Egyptology, not your feelings, uh, uh, you know, what you think or what you heard somebody say one time. No. <laughs> if it's not thus say if you how about Shimia Shah, you bug it out. All right. All right, here's the second one of a nature, a natural agency produce, produce a substance from its elements and, sim and uh, simpler uh, con uh, con uh, constituations. All right. So develop or present, right? A theory, policy or system in detail. So let's go back. When I said, please elaborate. This is this this throws red flags, and you brothers out there, you, you know that get these somewhat strange comments. A lot of times we'll just block you, okay? Because if it's again, if it's not thus said, if you how about me, I was shy. You bugging out. So I put, please elaborate. Uh, see, Ryan gets back and says it is self-explanatory. Well, hold on now. Let's go back to the definition of elaborate. If it's self-explanatory, that's why I use that word elaborate, develop or present a theory or system 
in detail. So elaborate. I, that's what I asked you. Could you please elaborate what you mean? Now, uh, here we go. I'll read. Yeah, I'll read it from here. All right. Use the scriptures. Show me this in the scriptures that what I'm saying uh, that that's what I'm saying. Right. That's what I'm you know, that's what I'm telling uh, Ryan, whatever the hell his name is, Ryan Jones. Right. OK. You know, and hey, this is everything is a learning Everything, use everything, 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 every situation for an edifying situation. You know, if your Yahweh Shem Yahweh puts it on you, and and if it is an edifying situation, or if it's if it's just some you know dumbass folly, you can let that go. All right. So I put use the scriptures Isaiah eight and verse twenty to the law and to the testimony. If they speak not according to this word, it's because there is no light in them. Now I put now that is self-explanatory, is that not? That scripture is what. Self-explanatory. So please elaborate. Here's that word again with scriptures. And so, yeah, five minutes ago, I didn't realize that he had gotten back. So this is what he put. John 7 and verse 24. Judge not according to appearance, but judge a righteous judgment. Now, if anybody knows anything about the men at Great Millstone, the like-minded brothers, the brothers that are speaking the same thing, the 100% truth, may I add, okay? If you know anything about us, we don't judge according to appearance. We don't just look at somebody like the rest of these camps and say, oh, oh, it's an Edomite. That's Edom. Look, 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 it's Moab. No, the scriptures tells us how to go about things. Test the spirit. Try the spirit. Okay? And, and we don't go according to skin color. See, you interjected that, Ryan. You interjected, I think that's the words, if, if I'm saying it wrong, Salakia, skin color into the mix. Why did you do that? Again, you're commenting on my comment board. I don't have a problem with that. But I do have a problem with you saying it's self-explanatory and not elaborating as I asked. Okay? Now, we understand that our righteousness is a filthy rags, but the scripture does go into it and tell us. Have an answer to every, to every man's question. Now, if it be a folly, you know, you leave him where he's at. Okay? So let's go here. This is uh, now, his original talking about uh, dark-skinned Idumians. Now, we all know uh, Idumia, what? Is, is Edomite. Those are Edomites. Okay? And we also know that you are the seed of your fathers in pursuit to Numbers 1 and verse 2, Numbers 1 and verse 18. You are the seed of your father. Now, whether Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh has scattered his people across the four corners of the earth, of course, you know, Jake likes to get down, man. Of course, we got with the other nations. Uh, uh, King Solomon had 300 concubines of another nation. All right? Or, uh, 700 wives and 300 concubines. And some of them, uh, uh, the scripture tell you, was the Edomites and the Moabites and all of them. He had all kinds of different flavors, man. You know, he had a Skittles bag of a, uh, uh, for a harem. All right. So what I'm trying to say is this. When you go into the scripture, it tells you that the Israelites have been scattered to the four corners of the earth. And we're going to lay down with and we always use the example of like Blake Griffin. You know, I mean, even, even my own family. Right. I, uh, I, I, I joined into a Gadite. Correct. And she's lighter skinned. Hell, I'm, I'm light skinned. It, if you will. All right. And so, you know, hey. We're not all going to come looking like John Shaft. And you got to realize that we do not judge according to appearance. There's brothers in Great Millstone that look like so-called Edomites, like the nation of Edom. That's why we say, try the spirit, test the spirit. Isaiah 41 and verse 21. Now, this is basically says elaborate, doesn't it? Produce your cause. All right. Say of the Lord, Yahweh, bring forth your strong reasoning. Say if the king of Jacob bring forth your strong reasoning, please elaborate why you would uh, have write uh, you know, uh, type a statement like that. Why? Especially knowing of whom, uh, you know, uh, what camp you with and how we don't go and we don't go into that. We don't just look at somebody and say, you eat a mic. We ain't got people bowing down. It's a lot. Somebody at the door and dogs go crazy, man. But we don't have people bound down, kissing our feet because we perceive them to be anybody like, because they because they light skinned, you know, they because they so called white as the uh, as the world calls them. Right. Hey, babe. All right. Let's keep going. Salakia. 
Please, please forgive me. Hey, hey. Damn it. All right. Oh, give me one moment. Let me go to the other room. Dogs are going crazy. Please forgive me. All right. I'm back. Now, let's go ahead and read that one more time. Isaiah 41, verse 21. Produce your cause. Say of the Lord, Yahweh. Bring forth your strong reasoning. Say of the king of Israel. So you need to produce your cause. That's why I said elaborate. Okay. Let's go here. Just read that one. Not going to make this too long. Second Ezra 15 and verse one. Behold, speak thou unto the ears of my people, the word of prophecy. What in the world does Iyamba have to do with prophecies? What in the world? What kind of a statement is that? What are you trying to teach me something or or tell me something? You know, if so, just hey, make it what plain upon tables, as it says in the book of Habakkuk, the second chapter. Does it not say make it plain upon tables? And again, if it's not thus saith Yahabashim Yahushai, it's a thing of naught. It's something that you think or you thought or you read somewhere, and it's and it's basically a moot point. Okay? Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord Yahweh. The words of prophecy. And cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. Fear not the imagination against thee. Let not the incredul incredulably of them trouble thee that speak against thee. For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world. The sword, famine, and death, death and destruction. Okay? So let's go back to it again. If they speak not according to this word, it's because there is no light in them now. John 7 and verse 24, yet again, let's bring it out. <clears throat> Please excuse me. Wow. <clears throat> Damn. I'm all stuffed up. Yet, yet again. Anyway, judge not according to appearance, but judge a righteous judgment. Now, why would you give me that scripture? What does I have to do with the house of Iyamba, where very dark-skinned Idumians, well, Idumians, are, those are Edomites. Now, we do understand that what? It's all kinds of, you know, we'll say it like this, black Edomites. It's all, they, they're all over the place. You know what they're called? They're called tares. Okay? Let's go there and get that. You see, it said the enemy have done this. You see, you see, wheat and tares. Okay. Okay, let's go here. This is this is total impromptu, but here it is. Matthew 13 and verse 30. This is red letters. Let both grow together until the harvest. And in the time of the harvest, I will say to the reapers, who are the reapers? The reapers are the angels, man. When it, when the scriptures go into it and tells you uh, the thrush ye in the sickle, it's talking about them angels coming down with great wrath, the, the, the laser beams and all that tearing this place to bits. To pieces, man. All right. I will say to the reapers, gather ye together first to tares. What are tares? Tares are the seed of the evil ones, the heathen, all the heathen round about, the seed of the, the of the heathen. That's the tares. That's going to come looking like everybody. See, it, it, it's, it has nothing to do with skin color. So, you know, I, I found it very surprising. That he would give me that scripture in uh in John 7 and verse 24 saying, Judge not according to appearance, seeing as we don't do that. Okay? And you're not gonna find it. You could skim through all of uh, 16 or 2,000 videos that I got on my own damn channel. You're not gonna find me doing that. You're just not gonna see it. Anyway, gather first the tares and bind them in bundles to burn them, but gather the wheat. Into my barn. Now hold on. He well, let's go back again because this is a somewhat contradicting statement here. Talk of it. Talk, he talk, going into Hamite, which uh, you know I believe he's speaking about Hamite that tried to pass as Jake, right? To try to pass as Israelites. So what are you saying that all Israelites are so-called black? But then you tell me judge not according to appearance. But then you say very dark-skinned Idumians. 
See the confusion here? That, that statement doesn't even make any sense. It makes zero sense whatsoever. You know, let's fancy this. Actually, no, let me let me finish this first. All right, gather them into bundles, but gather the wheat into my barn. His barn is what? That chariot that our big brother Yahweh is coming back. And when you hear that voice saying, come up here, there, man, hey, that's a great thing. Hide yourselves for a little while while the indignation pass, while the tares are being torn the hell up. Because, hey, we, we're casting a net into a sea. And we're gathering all kinds of different fish and all kinds of abominations. You take the ones, you take the uh, the, the fish and uh, the abominations of what? The shrimp, crabs, and the lobsters and all that, and you throw them back. Okay? We're fishermen. Now, we're going to be turned into hunters, but that's when the New Jerusalem comes down. Let's keep going. Okay? Another parable. See, these are parables. You got to understand what's being uh, read here. Verse 31. Another parable. Put he forth unto them, saying, The kingdom of heaven is like unto a grain of a mustard seed, which a man took and sowed in his field. Did you hear that? And sowed in his field. The earth is the field. And the woman, the woman, the women, the aquath, if you will, what are they? They are, uh, they receive your seed. They receive your seed. Now, not just the aquath, but even women of these other nations. It doesn't matter what they look like, all right? If I sow my seed into a full-blooded Moabite, you know, hey, it's not, it ain't, that, uh, that child is not going to come out looking exactly like me. It's going to be a mixture of the, I don't want to use the word DNA, a mixture of the, uh, you know, uh, the chromosomes, if you will, all right? But the, you got to remember, the man has what, the X and the Y chromosome. So the man creates the life, Okay. The woman is the field. The woman is the recipient of the seed and she brings forth the child. Understand this. Verse 32, which indeed is least of all the seeds. But when it is grown, it is the greatest among herbs and, by, and see it becometh a tree so that the birds of the air can come and lodge in the branches thereof. Let's see. I, I wanted to get a different one. Uh, it may be here, actually. Salakia. So, uh, I think it is here. Let's go back. Let's go here. Salakia. So, Again, just impromptu. Yeah, I was there. It's the 28th verse. So lock you for that. Call Halal Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Matthew 13 and verse 28. He said unto them, an enemy have done this. What did the enemy do? He sowed his seed amongst our women. And yet to this, and Eve loves it to this day. She, I mean, she, she high programmers anyway. Look that up if you don't understand what it is. The servant said unto him, wilt, uh, wilt thou then that we go, uh, that we go and gather them up, right? So amen. They're going to, no matter what you look like, you're going to get gathered up. Whether you get gathered up, two thirds got to go in the first place. We already know that. But whether you get gathered up or, or uh, saved, salvation delivered into Yahweh Shai's barn, which is that chariot, or you get left here and burned. You see? It's, it's either one or two things. That's all it is. Okay. Let's see. There's a couple other things I wanted to get. I want to go to. Let's see. Um, yeah. Speak thou into ears of my people. Like, there was actually several things I wanted to get into. Isaiah 34 and verse 5. For my sword, what? My sword shall be bathed in heaven. Behold, it shall come down upon Idumia. Right? Idumia. It come down to what? Upon Idumia. Who are the Idumians? Let's, let's, let's look that up. Let's look that up. Let's see. Let's get Abdumia. All right. Or Edom. All right. Idumia. Or do me a, all right, on a map. I spelled that wrong. Salakia. I sure did. All right, anyway, let's get on a map. All right, let's see here. Um, There we go. I do me a south of what? Of Israel, which is our land where the, where the original lesson 
you know, uh, you know the original lesson was talking about is uh, over there in the, in that you know they have t t taken the land and doing all that right it's our, our doom is what south of israel where where who esau edom res, uh, reside right esau edom you know esau edom right let's go to genesis okay and let's get it let's see genesis 25 25th chapter no 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 come on I got big ass meat hands. Big old meat fingers. No, 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 no. Damn. Come on. Salakia. There we go. Genesis. My goodness. Let's go to Genesis. Oh, it's still on. That's why it wouldn't go. It was still on images. Let's see, look, Genesis 25th chapter. Let's go to the 25th chapter. Okay. I'm not going to make this too much longer. The 25 and verse 23. All right. Just something quick through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Verse 21. All right. This is the origins of Esau Edom. Now, we know the spirit of Esau Edom really originated as that snake in the garden, which was a man. That taught Eve the philosophies of what no damn apple that she ate that that the philosophies was that tree of life man that you know the understanding the uh, knowing good and evil you know, all right and they they weren't physically naked either so you know all that Christianity bullcrap can go out the door okay Genesis twenty five verse twenty one oh and also uh, that spirit parlayed into whom it parlayed into Cain now if you want to get technical about it Cain was what. Cain's curse was to what? Was to be turned into uh, what a so-called white man looks like today. His curse was having his melanin or his, his pigment taken away from him. Same as Miriam. Okay. And, and the law and the scripture goes into it, tells you that uh, he, basically he was a clean leper. Okay. Now, before that, what color was he? A, he was a so-called black man. That's, that's correct. Genesis 25 verse 21. So you got to dig a, a little bit deeper into the scriptures and not just blurt out something, you know, with no elaboration, no rhyme or reason behind it. It just, it, 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 I was like, well, could you please elaborate? And I wasn't, you know, I wasn't being, I wasn't asking like, you know, you dumb, are you stupid? No, I wasn't saying nothing like that. And I'm still not saying anything like that. I don't know if it's the Edomite or whoever, but I'm answering, the, I'm answering the question. Okay. Please elaborate. If you're going to put something on a comment board, make sure it's the scripture. And make sure it goes along with the lessons. If not, then don't say nothing. Genesis 25, verse 21. And Isaac entreated the Lord Yahweh for his wife because she was barren. You know, she could not have children. And the Lord Yahweh was entreated of her, of him, Salakia. And Rebekah, his wife, conceived. All right. Seed went into her and she conceived. And the children struggled together within her. And she said, if it be so, why am I thus? If it be so, why are they struggling in me? Because it's always been a spiritual battle against who? Idumians, Esau, and who? Jacob, the progenitor of the 12 tribes of Israel. And yet to this day, it's the same damn thing. It's easy to see it. My goodness. And she went to inquire of the Lord Yahweh. And the Lord Yahweh said unto her, two nations. Two whole different people are in thy womb and two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels and the one people shall be stronger than the other, the Israelites, uh, but of course, <laughs> then the other, then the other people, right? And the elder shall serve the younger question for you, uh, Ryan, who came out first? Okay. You know, I, you know, I mean, I'm getting ready to read it. So you're going to have the answer, but who came out first? Jacob or Esau, which one came out first? Because it said right here that the elder shall serve the younger, right? So, you know, if you if if you hear this video, tell me who came out first. Post it on the comment board. I'm not going to block you. OK. All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, grow to, let them uh, grow together. Let's see. And the children struggle together. So lucky. And the Lord. Uh, yeah, to. Uh, to Salakia, and two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels, and the one people shall be stronger than the other people, and the elder shall serve the younger. Correct. Verse 24. 
And when her days to be delivered were fulfilled, behold, there were what? Twins in her womb. They were twins. They were brothers. Go back and read the book of Obadiah. It said, for the violence against thy brother, Jacob, shame shall cover thee. Go back and read uh, uh, Obadiah verse 18. You know, Joseph shall be a flame, man. You know, and Esau for what? For stubble. But it doesn't matter what you look like because there's a whole kinds, all kinds of chocolate covered Edomites. You probably, uh, you know, and Hamites and there's, I mean, there's dark nations. Hell, Eskimos, uh, Eskimos darker than I am. It's, uh, uh, Indians, you know, from India, Elam, it's darker than I am. So no, we don't judge according to appearance. You know, I was, I was expecting a, a little bit more, but anyway, you never know what to expect. Life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. Right? <laughs> Salakia. Oh, my goodness. There were twins in the whole room, right? 25. And the first came out red all over like a hairy garment. And it called his name Esau. Okay? We all know the blood for shows forth through the skin. Now, that uh, that word uh, uh, Esau uh, uh, means uh, it goes into a wasted away. Wasted away is he. You got you to look these things up. Wasted away. All right. Just like Cur uh, Cain's curse. What what happened? He wasted. Uh, Yahweh Bashim Yahshua took away his pigment. He was wasted away. As a matter of fact, in the account where it's talk about Miriam and how she read her damn mouth. Right. And that, and that should be enough. That's a whole nother lesson. And how she, you know, how she, how she ran her mouth. The scripture right after that. What does it say? It, 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 it's, uh, don't have her or don't have me as like one that looks dead. Wasted away, dead. All right. Let's see here. No, nah, you just just believe me. Well, right, let's go to it. You see. All right. Off the top of my head, I don't know where it's at, but we're going to find it right quick. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Numbers 12, verse 10. And the cloud departed off from the tabernacle and behold, Miriam became leprous as white as snow. And Aaron looked upon Miriam and behold, she was leprous. You know, what does that mean? That means her pigment was taken away from her and that shit was scary. You know, didn't it just say that, uh, uh, what did it, what did it say? He, he looked upon her. He was like, oh my goodness. Let's, let's read it. Verse 11. And Aaron said unto Moses, alas, my Lord, I, be, I what I beseech thee, lay not the sin upon us. Wherein we have done foolishly, wherein we have sinned. Let her not be, there it is right here, verse 12. It's, it, there, here, here it is. Let her not be as one dead. Now, you remember what the premise of this is, right? She got leprosy. She got cursed and put out. See? Let her, let her not be as one dead, wasted away is he, of whom the flesh is half consumed, when he have cometh out of his mother's womb. Woo! Oh man, these scriptures are very plain upon tables. Very simple. Yeah, I read this, didn't I? Yeah, it shall come down upon Adumia. Let's go to Isaiah's 63rd chapter, verse 1. Who is this that come from Edom from uh, with thy garments from Basra? All right, Basra is another word for America, Babylon. It sure is. All right, this is glorious in his apparel, traveling in the greatness of his strength. I that speak in righteousness, mighty to save. Save who? What did he tell you? He, he said, what, what did he tell the angels? To the reapers. He said, you gather them. He said, you let them both grow together. And then you gather up them tares and bind them and burn them with the ICBM missiles. And what? And you take that wheat, that pure wheat, my, my not my seed, Salakia, my brother and my kinsmen, according to the flesh, who are Israelites and put them what? Into my barn. So they may be safe through the, uh, the perilous times that are coming upon certain places on this earth. That's just the truth. And the truth shall make you free. Mighty to save, right? To save the Israelites, no matter what they look like. So when you go back and you say, judge not according to appearance, I don't understand why you gave me that scripture. Okay? See, an enemy have done this. I already went there. I went there to Genesis. Let's go on back here. Okay? Let's go to Ryan Jones, Mike Jones, Salakia, Ryan Jones page. What do you have here? Zero. There's nothing. No edification, no teaching, no nothing. I mean, it could be 
an extra channel, could be a throwaway channel. Hell, it could be a scoffer. It could be somebody I know. I don't know. But I, you know, but I'm just doing this lesson. Just to I don't, elaborate, please. If you will elaborate, and hopefully this was edifying. Let's go see if we can find anything else. All right. No, nope, not at all. Let's see, joined April 17th, 2021. So you don't you don't had uh, damn near three. You see, April. Yeah, uh, uh, you've had three years, man. Three years and a month. Three years and a month to actually open up. You 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 know how to open up a page. Grab your cell phone or a camera. Hit record. Do a lesson reading out of the Bible. You've had three years for that, and I don't see not one video. All right, so that's that. And you know, again, yeah, I'll just leave it right there. It is what it is. Hopefully this lesson was edifying, giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakaha, Kwadash. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, man. Some people. Some people. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, of whom I learn from each and every day. Healthy shalom to you, brothers, that are out there doing the work in truth and sincerity. What did I just say? To you, brothers, that are out there doing the work in truth and sincerity. Come on now. You got to come up some kind of way. All right. You you gotta you can start studying to show thyself approved. All right. Again, hopefully this lesson was edifying. Every chance you get, chant this place down. Quam Yasharala and Wa Abai Babal. Boom. Shalom.